what I had was I had uh, um, an aortic aneurysm, and what they did was a Bental procedure. Aortic aneurysms are dilation of the aorta, which is the big blood vessel that leaves the heart and feeds the whole body. I had uh, been on a routine physical, and um, they had detected an enlargement. And I went through several different tests here in Chicago, and they came back with really nothing. But my wife really wanted to dive a little deeper. And that was the compromise that Jim came up with. He said, you know, my dad had such a great experience at Mayo Clinic with his stuff. Would you be satisfied if Mayo Clinic would take our case? And I said, I would be more than satisfied with whatever Mayo Clinic came back and said in this condition. Detection is usually done by imaging. You know, either a CT scan or an echocardiogram could, could pick it up. It generally does not cause symptoms unless one of the catastrophic complications occurs. From the first time we went up there, the, the way that they're scheduling and everything's on time and they take you through this process and every single person you come in contact with there is professional. Not only are they professional, but they just have a, a good way about them. Their bedside manner makes you feel comfortable and at ease in that environment. It was seamless for us. It was like we had been there a hundred times. And that experience in itself just relaxes you in a very stressful environment. 10 days before I went to Mayo Clinic, my wife said uh, that she needed to talk to me. And we were at a, just a restaurant. Went, and then she pulls me aside and tells me this news that she has been diagnosed with breast cancer and an aggressive breast cancer. I was diagnosed with um, stage 2A breast cancer, lobular breast cancer. We didn't tell our children because we didn't want them worried about both of us at the same time. We needed to get Jim through the first step. We were taking things one step at a time. So it was just, you know, <laughs> the perfect storm. Jim had come out of his surgery and everything was stable and um, my phone rang and I had been given the news that I was going to need chemotherapy but I didn't have any genetic mutations. It's hard to even fathom what we went through for that year. But we never lost the faith and we're here, so. Today, without question, I feel as good if not better than I felt before. I mean, I play a lot of golf. You know, I walk a lot, I carry my bag a lot. I do a lot of physical activity and I don't have any problem with any of it. It was quite a climb, but you know, it was, I feel good. I have a different appreciation for life today than I had then before the surgery because it's just amazing how fragile life really is and how quickly things can change. And so I look at this as a true gift that was given by Mayo Clinic and the physicians at Mayo Clinic. They gave me my life back.